Hello and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back to my channel if you are not. This week's video is going to be, I don't know how to pronounce her name. It's like Sonny Vlet. She's one of uh, VS's angels. And we are going to be trying some of her workouts that she has put onto her YouTube channel. Basically, I'm going to be doing abs every day, and then I added on like butt workout, leg workout, full body, like stuff like that, you know. So I'm first going to show you what I look like in the mirror. I'm going to take measurements, and I'm going to take my weight. So, let's get on with that. Okay, so now I want to measure myself with this measuring, John. So that is my starting weight. It is day two. Let's just get into this workout, right? Hey guys, okay, so it is day three. I'm really tired this morning for some reason, but today is abs and full body. So let's go get on with that workout. Good morning, America. Today is day four. I haven't really seen any differences. My bloating's still like six months pregnant looking. So let's just hop into this workout and see if I can become a skinny legend. Good morning guys, it is day five and I feel like I'm seeing changes already. So let me show you. I just feel like I look a little less bloated. I don't know. Good morning guys, it is day 8 I think. Yesterday was day 7 and it was my day off so I didn't record anything. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you my progress, with progress pictures of course. And then we can get on with the workout, so see you guys there. Good morning guys, it is day 13 and it is currently 7.16 in the morning. Don't ask me why I'm up this early, but I am. And I can't go back to bed, so I was like, what's a better thing to do than just work out, see if that makes me tired, and then go back to bed. Or go take a shower and just putz around for the day. So, I'm gonna get myself a glass of water and then we're gonna head to the workout. All right guys, it is the last day of this workout challenge. This is day 14. So, I have been on my period for the last four days. So I've been pretty bloated. Um, 
so today's supposed to be my last day. So I think I'm gonna do the measuring and the last day pictures tomorrow, just because I feel like today won't be an accurate like account for what the for what work I've done. So I think I'll take the pictures and measure tomorrow because today's supposed to be my last day. And yeah, let's go get into the workout. For some reason, I always look so much better on my phone camera than my camera camera and it's just annoying because I paid like a shitload of money for this and I look like this. <laughs> mm, no. However, I am here to talk about the end results of this workout. So, I didn't expect too much from this one because it was something that I put together myself and I am no gym or fitness guru workout person. So, I didn't expect like drastic changes, abs in two weeks, you know, like I was just expecting maybe a little, little change in like waistline and stuff like that. Okay, so we're first gonna start off with my waist. I lost seven eighths of an inch off my waist, which is amazing. At one point, I was measuring myself like throughout this whole thing, and I lost an inch. It was maybe day eight or eight or nine or something, and I measured myself again, and I was at an inch. But hey, your body fluctuates, so of course it's gonna go from like different positions at different points. And also, my period came, which is another thing I wanted to explain. So the picture for the last day was not the last day's picture, it was not the picture that I took on the last day because I was extremely bloated, bloated more than I was in the first original picture. So I was like, that's not a real like example of the hard work that I put in. So I posted another one, as you can tell from today, um, where my period's gone, bloating's gone, and I'm looking good. Okay, so next is my hips. I lost about half an inch, and I'm a little salty about that because that means I lost booty, and I didn't want to lose booty. For my right thigh, I gained about half an inch, and for my left thigh, I gained about a fourth of an inch. For my left arm, I gained about three eighths of an inch, and for my right arm, I lost five eighths of an inch. And then for my weight, I actually gained three fifths of a pound. So I was 126.8 in the beginning, and I ended at 127.4, which really just goes to show that you honestly shouldn't look at your weight for like results because I mean, unless you're going from a drastically high weight and you're trying to get to a drastically low weight, weighing yourself just isn't the way to look for like changes because especially as a girl when it comes to your period or just regular life, your weight changes so much. Like one week I could be 130 and the next week I could be 120 and it has nothing to do with like the working out that I did or like the exercise that I did. It just has to do with my body changing. But I do like the changes that I've seen. Of course, my waist shrunk and I look snatched. My booty still be looking popping. Maybe I'll insert a picture here with me in a swimsuit and my booty. Actually, I'll insert a video of me in a swimsuit with my booty. And also in the video, it shows I have ab definition, which is nice. Look at this, there's ab definition. It, there's, I look fat from this angle and this angle. So we're just gonna look at it from this angle. And look at my booty, she popping. So. That is this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys whenever I post again. Bye.